Yeah, I just finished watching uh, Tier Fire 3, and uh, like I said in my, not my last video, but two videos ago, and in my last video, I said I was going to make a video about it, and I just haven't, but this is it, this is the video, and uh, um, I don't want to talk so much about the kills, all the kills, all, some, a few of the kills are actually creatively done, not just slashing the like the limbs per se like there's a scene where uh Arthur clown he puts like a tube in like the ant the ant in the movie and he f he stuffs rats down there and he forces them to go down her throat with fire and that was a creative way to kill someone and he slits her throat and the rats all, all come crawling down but the kills, all the kills top the bedroom scene from the second movie. I, I don't want to talk about the kills because I don't feel like there's a lot to say about them. But um, aside from their gory reign, that's what people want to see when they watch these movies. But I want to talk more about the lore and where I think they might take the story. Not should, because I don't want to make up like a fanfic version of Terrifier 4, but where I think they could take it, because uh, I feel like what these movies are missing is more lore and actual story than just all the clown going around killing people. And it did start with Terrifier 2. The story was, the story was mostly um, Sienna and Jonathan. And same with this movie, except more Sienna, Jonathan's more kind of like um, on the sidelines. He's trying to do his own thing and trying to move on from the events of the second movie. But I saw theories going around that Jonathan is still alive because you, you don't see his actual death. So hopefully, hopefully he's still alive. I thought Jonathan in this movie was... A lot better than in the last movie because he's obviously shown growth throughout the, this movie and the last movie but I saw a theory going around that the demon that Sienna kills with the sword that heals her she kills the demon and the demon is supposed to give all the clown like the supernatural powers of like not being able to die but I'm not so sure about that theory because at the end of the movie, Sienna stabs Alt in the chest. And that's when Gabby gets dropped off in hell. And Sienna tries to go after Gabby and try to, tries to help her up. But Alt, you know, manages to escape. And we see him on the bus at the, at the last scene of the movie. He's at a bus stop and then he gets on the bus and you don't see, maybe I might have missed it, but you don't see the stab wound that Sienna gave him. So I'm not sure if maybe the demon healed him one last time before the demon disappeared and like vanished, but, but I saw that theory going around and I'm, I'm unsure about it. I, I think I'm for it. But it was just that last scene where I was kind of confused. But, um, yeah, I'm still questioning what the dad has to do with, um, all the clown and, like, the... I know he, he created, like, the, the guardian armor that Sienna is supposed to wear. And he probably created a sword. I'm not sure. But I think in the fourth movie, there's, like, theories going around saying how the fourth movie will be fully story-driven. And somehow, somehow, some way, she's going to get the armor, maybe in hell. And, yeah, it's that, it's, she'll kill all the demons and kill all the clown with the sword. And I, I, I'm just wondering where they're going to go with the, th with the fourth story. Because Gabby's in hell. And Sienna, all the clown is missing again. And Sienna... I was kind of left there at the end, not knowing what to do. So she's probably going to try to find some way to get to hell. And 
after finding a way to get to hell, all the clown probably is probably stalking her from afar, waiting to see what she does. And on her way to hell, Alt, Alt follows her, so Alt can try to look for another demon, maybe, to kind of take power from. But Sienna is definitely going to hell to help Gabby, and she comes across Alt, Alt, and they fight, they go at it again, like Laurie Stroll do Michael Myers kind of style. And those just those are just a few of my thoughts on the movie, I mean... Speaking about the actual movie, it's not just the lore in the story. Speaking about the actual movie, I did like the way the movie was shot. It felt like an 80s movie. It felt like a real 80s movie that was digitally remastered and put on screen for the modern era. But I, I don't know what they shot with. I really have to do more of my research when it comes to like cinematography and like movies. But I, I the cinematographer did a good job. Um, I was, I was going to say something about the sound, the audio, the, the audio of the movie. I'm not sure if it was my movie theater, but did anyone else think that the audio sounded too, too, like, dreamlike, like, ADR, you know? Like, I feel like there was a lot of scenes that were ADR. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, or maybe it was my theater that had, like, the janky speakers, but that's what the movie sounded like. Maybe that's just what a good sound sounds like. But it sounded like some scenes were heavily ADR'd. And... Uh, um, yeah, I saw... I saw the... I, I guess this is like a double review at this point. I don't know. I, I wonder how many of you guys made it this far already. But I saw... I saw the ninth circle... Like the, I think it was the very first Damien Leone, like short film he made with Art the Clown, and uh, basically it's like a lady that speaks Spanish. She gets captured by Art the Clown, and she gets like, like, drugged, and then she wakes up and she's like in hell with like all like demons around her. And uh, tying back to tying back to Terrifier Three. That's where I think that's the demons that we see for the brief moment in Sienna's dream. We see like one demon being held by like a, by like a, by like a a a, a Mary, bi bi biblical and yeah, I think one of those demons maybe were one of the demons from the ninth circle. So maybe in Terrifier Four they they tie it all together with the ninth circle and maybe maybe All Hallows Eve. Which is another one with all the clown, but yeah, I mean, I, I I mean I like these movies to an extent. I wouldn't say they're my favorite, but there's like something about them that just draws me, like making me want to see more and more. You know, even though I don't necessarily go out of my way to watch them, but yeah, if you um if you guys did not like the other movies, you guys are not gonna like this one. They do go kind of like more controversial with like killing kids and but they also have more off screen deaths so they're kind of crossing the line but also kind of pulling back a bit but yeah if you guys if you guys are already fans of these movies then you'll you'll you guys will have a ton of fun but if you guys don't, then you guys are not going to have a different opinion about it if you go watch this movie. But anyways, this is my Terrifier 3 review. I, I even, I slid a Ninth Circle review here too. Not really, but I mentioned it. Ninth Circle was, it was, a, it was good for, for a super, super low budget movie. It was, it was, it looked like they had fun making it, but I saw it in like 144p, so. But, um, yeah, if you guys liked my videos subscribe like that would be appreciated if you guys have like construct constructive criticism on how i should change my format or what i should be looking more into movies i am just leave them in the comments below i'm not claiming to be like a movie expert i just i'm just someone that really likes movies and uh, i i know everyone says this but i hope to make movies one day and 
other than that guys it's it's, a, it's night out so i'm gonna catch some sleep i'll probably edit this video somewhat and then yeah i'll see you guys next time i think the next movie i'm watching is either piece by piece and or the wild robot but most likely piece by piece um you know life gets busy so if I don't end up watching piece by piece, then I'm definitely going to make a Venom The Last Dance video because it's, that it's going to bring up a lot of buzz. So stay tuned for either a Lego piece by piece video or a Venom video. Other than that, guys, thank you for guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.